Okay, we need some sort of distraction for everybody. Anything new on YouTube? Michael. Doesn't even need to be good. The name's Bond. Santa Bond. All of an eggnog shake and not stirred. I'm Prison Mike! Do you really expect us to believe you're somebody else? Do you really expect me to not push you up against the wall, biatch? Oh, okay. yes. All right, hey, 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 that's just the way we talk in the clink. Been a lot of fun talk about prison today. I am here to scare you straight! In prison, you are somebody's bitch. You're always having sex with somebody, whether it's a gang member or the guards. And then you run to the warden for protection and you become a snitch. And then the other inmates kill you. Does that sound like fun? Oh, and you. You, my friend, would be the belle of the ball. Don't drop the soap. Don't drop the soap. Michael, please. Where did you learn all of this? Internet. So not the prison. And prison, it's 50-50. What'd you do, Prison Mike? I stole and I robbed and I kidnapped the president's son and held him for ransom. That is quite the rap sheet, Prison Mike. And I never got caught, neither. Well, you're in prison, but... Mm -hmm. Is there someone there? Who's there? I hear voices. Is somebody there? Yeah! Is someone here? I can't see you because I'm blind. <laughs> it's Jim and Pam, Michael. <gasps> it is? Yeah. They're back? Oh! Oh! Oh, Pam! Blind Guy McSqueezy, how do I describe it? It is a character I've been workshopping whose lack of vision gets him into all sorts of trouble. The women in my improv class absolutely hate him. Boom! Detective Michael Scott! I'm with the FBI. Boom! Freeze! Michael Schoon, FBI. You know what you did. Boom! Boom! Uh, boom! Prison sounds horrible. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Andy. Thanks. Have any of you ever had to break a rock all day, every day, for no reason, with chains on your legs? You were in a chain gang? Tell us how you masterminded the kidnapping of the president's son. I waited outside his prep school in a van. And when he came out for soccer practice, I pounced. What's the very, very worst thing about prison? Don't encourage him, don't. The worst thing about prison was the, was the Dementors. They were flying all over the place and they were scary and then they'd come down and they'd suck the soul out of your body and I'd hoit! I hope that this scared you. I came up with prison Mike during improv class. No more guns. Could have no, no. Michael, why don't you give me all the guns you have? Just get rid of all your guns and give them to me. Great. Okay. okay. I'm looking in my wallet for money so you can tell me my fortune. I promise it's worth it. Ooh, I can see you walking out of here and you're thrilled with your reading. <laughs> Michael, what did you tell him? Bill? He told me he couldn't show it to me, but he has a gun. Hi, I'm Date Mike. Nice to meet me. How do you like your eggs in the morning? It's all right. Hey, Michael, where have you been? Hey! Nice one. Can I talk to you for a second? Mm-hmm. Right. Everything okay? Why are you wearing a hat now? Guys, come on. I'm on a date. Let me do my thing. You want to just make a run for it? Maybe. Hey, guys, guys, guys. Use a ball. Watch this. Ready? What are you doing? I'm trying to knock on your stump with my tongue. I'm going to tell you not to do this. <coughs> wow, maybe we should tell her that he's not normally like this. Maybe it should come from a man. Maybe it should come from a note with flowers tomorrow. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. You want to pay 400 bucks to refill this table? Yeah, why don't you send the bill to 23 I don't care lanes, oh. Grenton, Pennsylvania. Hey, Michael, why I would say I kind of have an unfair advantage because I watch reality dating shows like Hawk and I learn, I absorb information from the strategies of the winners and the losers. Actually, I probably learn more from the losers. You know, it was going well before. Going well doesn't seal the deal. Yes, it does. No, just... Let Date Mike handle this. He's got it. He's all over it. Oh, what a great night. Got to hang out with my peeps. 
sort of did okay with a, a new young lady. Actually, you didn't. Not at all. I think I did, but I can't take all the credit. Some of the credit is due, in fact, to my good friend, Date Mike. Nice to meet me. I worry about him. I don't. Look at that guy. Oh, damn it, Michael! I'm all right. I'm all right. Hey, out of curiosity, do you have any other characters? I have a black guy. Nope. I have Michael Clump. Boom, boom, I'm fine. Why, hello, everybody. I am beautiful. They are beautiful. He is beautiful. This big, fat pig is beautiful. It's my sumo suit. I just didn't inflate it all the way. I'm so glad that I bought instead of rented. Although I have not figured out how to clean it. So it's a little brutal. Body image. Magic, 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 magic. And now Michael the Magic will attempt to escape from extreme bondage. Hello, I'm here for the small business seminar. Michael. Nine, I'm Greek. My name is Mikano. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, Michael. Michael. Okay. Why don't you talk to Mykonos? Is Mykonos Greek? He sounds Italian. Ugh, you're the fifth person to tell me that today. What do you do in your free time? Practice Olympics. Mm. Do you like movies? I like the musical Greece, or as we call it, home. We have to try this out on somebody. <laughs> Look, you want to order something? She will have a Greek cappuccino. I don't know what that is. It's a very strong coffee with milk from a goat. I can't believe he eats a miracle. She can talk. No more brain damage. No more brain damage. Uh, he answers to Michael, Michael G. Scott, Michael J. Fox, Mr. Fox, the incredible Mr. Fox. Yeah, he Mi just left. Hello? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. How can I help you? My name is Michael Skarn. Clean up on aisle five. I'm up. It's the president. He needs you for a mission. Tell him I'm retired. It's Golden Face. Golden Face. This makes it personal. Scar, you're right on time. Yeah. Hail to the chief. I gave up a lot of weekends because I thought it would be good for my daughter to see a black man as president, even in a silly home movie. What a stupid waste of time. Ah! It's Scar. Sorry about your friend, Scarn. The joke's on you, Golden Face. That man was a wanted animal rapist. We've searched the whole building, Golden Face. Where is the bomb? Hmm? We've searched the whole building, Golden Face. Where is the bomb? Hmm? We've searched the okay. Well, my name's Michael Scarn, and I'm here to say I'm about to do the Scarn in a major way. You jump to the right and you shake a hand And you jump to the left and you shake that hand You meet new friends, you tie some yarn And that's how you do the scorn You jump to the right and you shake that hand And you jump to the left and you shake that hand you Meet new friends, tie that yarn That's how you do the scorn I'm just changing my cell phone plan Okay, okay here you go I'll take my free stress ball too now Sure thing, here you go, miss Okay, Fanny, smell more Real original what? You know what? Say hi to Orville Tutenbacher for me. Tutenbacher. Orville Tutenbacher? That's Michael's millionaire character that farts. Farts popcorn. Oh. Of course, he was here. Oh my God. What? Is, what? What is it? Called? What, is what it? happened? What? Is going there on? news? There has been a murder. What? A mur what? There's been a murder in Savannah. I don't like my character. 
Who are you? Voodoo Mama Juju, the witch doctor of the Savannah Swamps. I I'm not comfortable with this. Well, how do you think I feel? I mean, I have to play Caleb Crawdad, handsome playboy, every night, a different woman being oogled. Well, 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 what is this contraption I do declare? It's my Blackberry, Michael. I'm trying to get updates on the company. Who's Michael? I'm Caleb Crawdad, I do declare. You don't have to keep saying I do declare. Anytime you say something, it means you're declaring. That is the way Southern people talk. And what designing woman are you basing that on? Delta Buck, I do declare. I do believe that the game is a big hit. People are really diving into their characters. Y'all. Sorry, I'm late, boss. What's going on? Sir, there has been a murder, and you are a suspect. OK. Hang on just a sec. Let me settle in, and I'll be right back. Very good. My name is Jim, and I'm actually a time traveler from 2009. And I'm here to tell you that there's a paper company in Scranton, Pennsylvania that has a lot of work not getting done. Yeah. No fair. OK, he gets to travel back in time. I should be able to travel back in time to the night of the murder find out who killed Bill Bourbon. OK, I'll allow it. Do it. OK, I just did it. Who's the murderer? It's too dark, I couldn't see. Two of you live on the same street and yet hate each other. Explain. Well, he's always climbing up into my peach tree, making my peaches smell like feet. That's right. And she, her cat, ate my dog. I got an email from corporate specifically for accounting to stop all payments to our vendors. What does that mean? Well, maybe nothing, but it could whoa, be a problem whoa, with liquidity. What's this strange Yankee accent coming out of your mouth, son? This here is Savannah. Phyllis, uh... Oh, this plant, plantation, this plantation. We're running low on, on uh, greenbacks, and we're having problems uh, paying the people who give us the seeds and the dirt, we can't pay them. Michael, sure it was water. It couldn't have been acid. I already declared you it was too dark to tell. Stop playing games with me, Crawdad. This is not a game. This is my life. You are out of order, Answer sir. me. You are out of order. You are out of order. You are Michael. out of order. Where are you right now? Sweet Savannah, Georgia. What year is it? 1955. What did you have for breakfast? Let me see. I believe I ate grits. What is the main industry in Savannah? Murder. Mm -hmm. There has been a lot of murder and a lot of intrigue. My little heart can barely take it no more. Today is the hardest I have worked in a long, long time. I didn't do it! Okay. Everybody just calm down. I am Count calm. of three, we're all gonna put down our guns. I have crossbows. We'll put down our weaponry on the count of three. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. One, two, two, three. three. Yeah! Ah! Um, hmm. No. No. There's a special guest that I would like to invite to say one last goodbye. So here he comes. He's coming right in. Hi, everybody! It's Ping! Yes. And I'm here to say goodbye to all you wonderful people. Thank you, everybody! You've been so wonderful! Mm. We've had such a good... Mm. I love you all! I love you very much! We had an assembly at school where a giant owl came out and gave a very impassioned speech about giving hoots and not polluting. And you know what? I never polluted again. It was right then that I realized the power of saying things as a character. People listen to you when you are wearing a, an elaborate costume or speaking in a voice that is not yours.